Hey there, welcome back. My name is Katie and this is Louisiana Cooking and Living. And today we are gonna get some breakfast freezer prep going. Um, these are probably staples in everybody's house, but I'm just gonna make a batch of it today to get it in the freezer, mess up the kitchen one time, and then we'll have breakfast for quite a while. Um, my son sometimes has to be at work for six in the morning and he starts school back next week. So um, he likes to take breakfast when he's going early. My husband the same, well not school, but when he has to go to work early. So, um, and when I get off in the mornings from working all night at work, because I am a nurse, if you don't know that, I am a nurse and I work night shift. So um, when I come home, I'm not always in the mood to eat anything. I usually just go get ready for bed and go straight to bed. But sometimes I am pretty hungry if we've had a long, rough night. And so this will be an easy, quick thing I can pop in the microwave and um, we'll have to make a mess. I just want to show you my pre-eggs. I love my eggs. I know I've showed my eggs a few times. We have so many colors, and I don't know if you can see. Some of them are even speckled. We have a range of these darker olive green, almost blue. Um, let's see, there was a dark green one that was speckled too. It was really pretty. I don't see it now. But we have, you know, some darker browns, some lighter browns. I just really love my eggs, they're so pretty. It's God's natural rainbow right here. Um, so we're gonna make uh, some French toast that can go easily in the freezer and re uh, heat perfectly. We're gonna make, I don't know if you can hear in the background, have some sausage cooking. We're gonna make some sausage, egg, and cheese croissants. Also on um, English muffins, kind of like a McDonald's egg McMuffin. And then also if we can, if we have enough eggs and such, we'll make burritos, breakfast burritos too. And uh, to get prepared for today, I washed all my eggs. These are fresh eggs from my chickens in the back. And then I've also cooked all my bacon in the oven on 400 degrees. I did two pans of it and I just rotated my pans halfway through. And I've got my sausage going on the stove for my patties for the croissants and for the English muffins. I want to get these croissants from Costco. They are 12 of them for $6, so they're a really good price, and they're really big croissants, if you can see that. They're pretty big. So, we... <coughs> Excuse me, I tasted that bacon. It was a new kind of bacon, and had a really good smoky flavor. I'd gotten it at Whole Foods, and I wanted to taste it, and I got a little piece in my throat. So, we will get started on this assembly line process. All right, so while I'm making my mess of cooking my sausage here on the stove, what I'm going to do is I bought these um, little breakfast links at Aldi today. And so I'm just going to get those cooked up. Those can easily go in the freezer or the fridge and be reheated pretty easily in the microwave. So we have sausage patties. I don't know if you can see. we got sausage patties going. Here's our mountain of bacon. And we'll get these in the skillet too already cooked sausage in the skillet, so it's not a big deal to add this sausage to it. Take my last two patties out. These are maple flavor for just a little bit different. My son likes to dip his sausage in his maple syrup, so I thought we'd give these a try. All right, I'll wash my hands up real quick. I did find at Walmart today, I've been trying to um, watch out for the organic cheese. They did have this mild cheddar in slices, it's not dry, so I thought we'd give this a try in our sandwiches today. So before I start cooking my eggs to go on my croissants, what I like to do is go ahead and get my little, um, I guess, stations ready. 
So I laid my parchment paper out that I'm going to wrap these in. And I just spread these out on my counter. My counter is already cleaned. When you're making breakfast, it's such a mess with all the splattering, so that's why I like to do a bunch at one time and get it done. I'm kind of hoping it would stick to the damp counters. Alright, so we'll start with six there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to already slice open my croissant. Salt is a little turn. Sometimes you feel like a short order cook when you're making breakfast food. I also have this skillet heating up for my eggs. I'll just cut these in half, cut them open. So what I typically do, because these ones from Costco are so big, I don't know if you can tell how big, that's like really big, it's bigger than my hand. Um, these little ends, like these two ends, I will break these off and give these to my chickens. Because you can't get an egg or sausage or whatever to fill these. So I usually will break off the ends when I go to roll them up. Alright, so this will start off with some bacon on these. Put like two slices of bacon. This bacon I cooked a little crispy. My son likes this bacon a little crispier. Alright. Next we'll go down with the cheese so that when we put the egg on it, it will help it to melt. Turn that off because they are probably close to being done and I'll just finish cooking. Notice this cheese is a little dry. You ever bought that mm -hmm. organic cheese from Walmart? What do you think about it? It's just kind of crumbling in my hand here. So what I'm going to use is some bacon grease from cooking my bacon. This may be a little controversial to some people, but animal fats are much better for you than um, inflammatory oils. So if you don't want to use the animal fat, you can use like avocado oil or a, um, an olive oil that's not extra virgin, so it doesn't have a lot of flavor to it. Alright, and we'll just fry our eggs up. Okay. And I'm going to save these eggs to feed back to my chickens. Alright, so I'm going to get my eggs fried up and we'll put them on all of our croissants and we'll be back. Alright, so now we're going to move on to our little English muffin sandwiches. Let me show you the ones I like to get. I like to get this brand. They're in the refrigerated section. These are just have always been our favorite. So I've been toasting those in the toaster is all I've been doing with them. And I've got my eggs cooking like I did with my croissants. I already have one here made. I just have the sausage, egg, and cheese on there. So we'll get all these cooked up and we'll get those wrapped up also. 
All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is move on to some breakfast burritos. So I've cleaned my counters and starting over again. And I just have some breakfast sausage here in the skillet that I'm just cooking up. I'm going to crack some eggs in here. We're just gonna make some sausage scrambled eggs with cheese. And then we'll roll those up in our tortillas. So once the sausage is cooked, um, we'll come back and add the eggs. All right, so our sausage is cooked in here, and I'm going to scramble up. I have <clears throat> six eggs in here. Scramble these up. I don't add milk to mine. Sometimes I'll add a splash of water. I find that if you add milk, by the time the milk breaks down and separates, and everything's done before it has time to evaporate the water that had been in the milk. So if you add water to this to make them fluffy, the water has time to evaporate before the eggs are completely cooked. But today, I'm just going with this. All right, we're scrambled up good. I'm going to pour this in here now. I salt and pepper my eggs. Of course, if you don't want salt and pepper in your eggs, you don't have to. My husband makes fun of me because when I fry eggs, I don't put salt and pepper on them. But when I scramble them, I do. And he likes his fried eggs salt and peppered also. We'll just get these till they're just cooked. I find that if you leave your eggs in your breakfast sandwiches or like in this, just, just shy of being completely cooked, when you reheat them, it finishes cooking them without really drying them out. Now I like my eggs cooked all, my scrambled eggs cooked all the way. I don't like them wet, but I also like to leave them just a little bit, not completely dried out, if that makes any sense. This looks like it's more sausage than eggs going on in here. Let me get a towel so I can lift my skillet here. You can see that it's more sausage than eggs, but they will love this. All right, almost done, so I'm gonna add some cheese. I just have some leftover grated um, cheddar and Oaxaca cheese here. Of course, you could add tomatoes to this, green chilies, mushrooms. Just kind of make it your own. My son doesn't like anything added into his, so. We're going plain. And now we just need to get the cheese melted. And so what I'll do is I'll spoon it onto these tortillas and then they'll roll them up. Those cook really quick. I'm gonna spoon here, and so I'll show you what I'll do. Oops. I kind of fill my tortilla towards the back side. And these are the soft taco size. If you had the burrito size, you'd be able to roll the sides in, but these I don't. So what I just do is I roll it really tight Pull it tight and just roll it up. And then I just let them know that, you know, the sides are empty. So whenever you roll it in the parchment, you can roll it in like a burrito where you pull the sides in. Like this. And just roll them up. So I'll get all these done and then we'll move on to the French toast. All right, next we're going to move on to our French toast. <clears throat> I have some eggs here in my pan. I'm going to add some milk to this and I don't measure. This was one, two, three, four, five eggs. I'm just going to dump the rest of this milk. That was about a half a cup of milk, three fourths. I'm just strain all of this up. I'm going to sprinkle in some cinnamon. 
and sometimes you'll have to go back and add some more cinnamon. I'm gonna add some vanilla. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. When we have sweet, you need a little bit of salt to balance it out. I do have my skillet heating up here, and we're gonna use butter in our skillet. So I'm making French toast, so I like to use this brioche bread. I found this one at Aldi today, so this is the one we're using. Custard part. Gonna add some butter to our skillet. We're just gonna start dipping. And we will go till we run out of custard or run out of bread, one of the two. We'll get this cooking. All right guys, so this is our big old breakfast haul here. We got six of our mock egg McMuffins. We got three with bacon and three with sausage. We got 12 slices of French toast. We got nine breakfast burritos. We got sausage links and sausage patties done. We got some bacon done. Um, I did 10 of the croissants and I put them, after I wrapped them in the parchment, I put them right back in the container the croissants came in. And then I wrote on the parchment whether they were sausage or bacon. And then I left two croissants. These will go right into the fridge, but they can have like a jelly on the, um, I have some homemade grape jelly. We have raspberry preserves, strawberry preserves. So um, these will be in the fridge for that. And they can have, you know, protein with that also. This is so exciting to get this done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and you make a breakfast freezer prep time for yourself. It took me about two hours to get all this done. So if you could set aside um, two hours of your time, you can get so much done that you don't have to do every morning, especially like if you have little kids to go to school, um, this would be great to you know have ready to go in the mornings. 
And um, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you hit subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.